Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here and in this video we're going to continue our discussion on lamina and turbulent boundary layer and we're going to continue to derive uh, some of the equations that's going to involve the wall shear stress in order to obtain the drag. Okay, so why is drag so important? Imagine that you are driving a car and then you need to refuel the car, right? And let's say that the price for the fuel is about 2 ringgit per liter. Okay, now 60% of that fuel is going to be lost as heat. Alright, so fuel gets into the car and then fuel gets burned. 60% of that fuel is just lost through heat. And another 20% of that fuel is actually lost due to the aerodynamic drag. Okay, so imagine if you are in Malaysia and the price of the oil is about and the price of the fuel is about 2 ringgit per liter so that's 20% so 40 cents 40 cents of the fuel that you put in a car is actually used to overcome the aerodynamic drag okay so that drag is very important all right and in in the previous video we have derived uh, the equation to represent the velocity profile and uh, i'm coming back to this uh, notes that we have uh, basically we are using this equation as an approximation only because we don't know what the velocity profile really looks like right uh, we can only know that from experiment but this is actually quite a very good approximation so uh, this equation uh, we use the second order polynomial and this equation is where we use the third order polynomial and when we find the value for a b c and d we got this equation and also this equation. We got the equation on the left here when we use the second order polynomial or we call it quadratic equation. And we get this equation by using third order polynomial or we call it cubic equation. Now, if you are not familiar with this equation yet, okay, please, please go back to part two of this video because it is essential that you understand this first before you can move on to what we are going to do in this video okay if you cannot do this yet then it's going to be very difficult for you to catch up about our discussion today right and remember our objective here is to find the drag on a flat plate okay that's why we went into trouble to derive this equation to get the velocity profile all right okay now drag is related to wall shear stress and we've learned before that wall shear stress is simply tau equal to mu du dy at y equal to zero and that is the wall shear stress but in order to relate in order to find this wall shear stress using the equation of boundary layer that we just built we're going to need to use something that is called the von Karman momentum integral. Okay, so von Karman momentum integral tells us that tau at wall is equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx. Okay, and theta is what we call momentum thickness. Right, and theta is governed by the equation that looks something like this. Okay, and momentum thickness is given by theta equal to 1 over u infinity square integration from 0 to del okay remember that del is the boundary layer thickness meaning that you will integrate this equation from the surface of the flat plate to the boundary layer thickness all right and that is 1 over u infinity square integration from 0 to del u u infinity minus u dy then there is one more parameter that you need to know that is called the displacement thickness
and displacement thickness is represented by del del d okay and del d is equal to 1 over u infinity integration from 0 to del u infinity minus u dy okay so three terms that you start so three new terms for you in this video that is the von Kármán momentum integral momentum thickness and also displacement thickness okay now let's see how are we going to use this von Kármán momentum integral in order to find the wall shear stress and once we find the wall shear stress we can find the drag okay so tau naught <coughs> tau naught right is equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx right and we're gonna start with the theta okay that is because theta is equal to 1 over u infinity square 0 over del u u infinity minus u dy right so <coughs> remember that we already have u over u infinity here okay we already have this and we already have this so now it will depend on us whether we want to use the u over u infinity that we get from quadratic or we want to use the u over u infinity that we get from the cubic equation okay now can i write this equation as u over u infinity 1 minus u over u infinity can i do that and that is from 0 to del yes of course i can do that i'm just taking in the u infinity square into the integral okay now remember we already know what these terms are right so u over u infinity we know okay let's say that we are going to choose cubic equation okay and for cubic equation u over u infinity is okay so this is the cubic equation so 3y over 2 del minus y cube over 2 del cube right so what do we do with this now we know that we have u over u infinity and this equation here is going inside this equation in order to find the theta right so theta now let me write it bigger so theta now is actually integration from 0 to del this is 3y over 2 del minus y cube over 2 del cube times 1 minus 3y over 2 del plus y cube over 2 del cube dy okay now don't get scared when you see this kind of long equation what you need to do is just to carry on and do the multiplication and integrate the parameters. Okay, so what we have here now is integration from 0 to del. This is, uh, we're going to do it like this. So here and here first. Okay, this will be 3y over 2 del minus y cubed over 2 del cube minus 9y square over 4 del square plus 3y to the power of 4 divided by 4 del to the power of 6 so I think this is 
Sorry, I think I may have made a mistake here. So let's do this one by one. Okay. And this term is, let's do this, let's do purple. So we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Alright, so this is going to be plus 3y to the power of 4 divided by 4 del to the power of 4. Now let's do red. We're going to do that. And we're also going to do that. Alright, so this is going to be plus 3y to the power of 4 divided by 4 del to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 6 divided by 4 del to the power of 6. Right, and don't forget the dy here. So next, what do we do is we integrate this. Okay, now it become 3y square over 4 del minus y to the power of 4 over 8 del cube minus this will be 9y cube to the power of 12 del square plus 3y to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 plus 3y to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 7 divided by 28 del to the power of 6 dy. Okay, so sorry, no more dy, but now is from 0 to del. Okay, now we're getting close, right? So now let's carry on. Let's put del into y. So this is 3 del square over 4 del minus del to the power of 4 divided by 8 del cube minus 9 del to the power of 4 divided by 12 del to the power of 2, sorry, 9 del to the power of 3 plus 3 del to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 plus 3 del to the power of 5 divided by 20 del to the power of 4 minus del to the power of 7 divided by 28 del to the power of 6. Okay, and if you replace y with 0, then everything is going to be 0. So, this is it. Okay, this is our theta. Okay, so here, if you notice, you can cancel a lot of del. 7 del 6. Okay, so you will end up with... Uh, only one term which is del right and you add up these fractions and you will end up with 0 0.139 del and that is your theta okay so now we have theta in the form of del right now remember our objective is not theta right our objective is tau okay so Coming, coming back to the von Karman momentum integral, so tau is equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx. So I'm going to write this here again. So tau equal to rho u infinity square d theta over dx. Right? And we have theta there. So rho u infinity square d over dx. Now, this is 0 0.139 del, isn't it? Okay, so if I rearrange this, that's going to be 0 0.139 rho u infinity square d del over dx. Okay, now going back to what you already know, tau is also equal to mu du over dy, right? at y equal to 0. 
Alright. Fortunately for us, we know what is u in terms of y. Okay. So, uh, coming back to u over u infinity again. And if you remember, this is equal to 3y over 2 del minus y cube over 2 del cube. Alright. And du over dy is going to be u infinity 3 over 2 del minus 3 over 2 y square over del cube. Right? And at y equal to 0, alright, du dy dy is going to be u infinity times 3 over 2 del. Okay, so when we take this again and we plug in what we have here, you will end up with tau also equal to mu u infinity 3 over 2 del. Okay, and this is also equal to this. Alright, so these two are basically the same equation. They have, they share the same value. Right, and what do we do here? We, so what do we do here is just we equate these two things and see what happens. Right, and then this becomes 0 0.139 rho u infinity square d del over dx is now equal to u infinity mu 3 over 2 del. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take del to the left. Okay, any terms that has del, I'm going to take it to the left. Alright, so you will end up with del d del equal to, this is going to be 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 0 0.139 divided by 1 over rho u infinity square and this is going to be u infinity mu dx okay so everything that's not del i'm going to move it to the right okay and i'm going to move this a little bit further down okay let's not move this one Right, and this is quite simple. On the left, you have del d del, and this is going to be 10.8. Okay, and u infinity you can cancel this out, and then mu over nu, right? Mu sorry, mu over rho is actually equal to nu, so this is going to be nu over u infinity dx okay guys i think it's getting a bit long so we're gonna stop here first so try to do this again and again derive it by yourself and try to do it without looking at this video and see if you can do it okay then you can move on all right i'll talk to you soon bye